Okay. Um. So in the next few lectures, we're going to discuss um convergence properties of metric spaces. So in this lecture, we're going to define convergence of sequence in the metric space. So first of all, a sequence is basically um a function from the set of natural numbers to x, and then we denote a sequence by p sub k. Uh, basically, p sub k is just the k term of the sequence. An example, suppose that um, x is a set of real numbers, then the sequence is real. Now, let us formally define convergence in the ordinary metric space. Suppose x is a metric space. So a sequence p sub k in x is said to converge to p in x if the limit as k goes to infinity of the ordinary distance between the k term of the sequence and p um, is zero. For example, suppose um, the k term of some sequence is 1 minus 1 over k. Here we want to show that the sequence converges to 1. Here I suppose that x is basically on um, a set of real numbers. Then we define the ordinary distance between any two points in x by the distance between x and y as um, the absolute value of x minus y. Then we see um, the ordinary distance between the kth term of the sequence and 1 is simply um, the absolute value of 1 the absolute value of 1 over k. But because x is a set of real numbers, we can remove the absolute value. So we see that the ordinary distance between the kth term of p and 1 is simply 1 over k. And then in a the large k limit, 1 over k is basically 0. Okay. So now we want to know whether um, limit of sequences in metric spaces are unique. So suppose that um, P sub K has two limit points, call them um, P and P prime. Then we know by the triangle inequality that the ordinary distance between P and P prime is going to be less than or equal to the ordinary distance between P and the kth term of the sequence plus the ordinary distance between the kth term of the sequence and p prime. But because uh, the sequence has two limit points, p and p prime, that means um, in the large k limit, the ordinary distance between p and then the kth term of p is going to be zero. And then also in the large k limit, the ordinary distance between the kth term of p and p prime is also zero. So basically, um, we see that the ordinary distance between p and p prime is going to be less than or equal to zero. But remember, um, the ordinary distance between two points is non-negative. So that means the inequality can all be strict, which simply means that the, the ordinary distance between p and p prime has to be zero, which means basically um, p has to be equal to p prime. Because that's the only situation where we have the other result between P and P prime to be zero. If P is not equal to P prime, then the other distance between P and P prime has to be greater than zero of the axioms. 